Hey, it's Craig and Murphy here. We're in uh, Glendale, Utah. Just learned of a slot canyon down the road in Orderville, Utah, just about three miles down Highway 89. Murph and I are gonna go check it out. Ready to go, Murph? I am in Red Hollow Canyon, or that's where I'm headed, in Orderville, Utah. I was given this trail uh, by a local, uh, kind of vague, said to go to the white sand and then keep going till it turns into red sand, but anyway, I'm parked up there. I noticed a cell phone tire up there I'm going to use as a marker, and there's a water tank up there I'm going to use as a marker, and then I built a little rock cairn there that lets me know this is my turning point to go back up to where I parked. So I'm going to hit up this wash here and see if we can find Red Hollow Canyon. That ended up being a pretty short hike of about 20 minutes before I start seeing these red canyons in what looks like maybe the beginning of the slot there. But I just came straight up the wash. I call it a dry creek bed, but out west they're, uh, they're washes and they're formed over rain and water carving through this sandstone for millions of years but when it rains it'll just be a torrent down through here these rocks get their color from the minerals and in the case of the red it's iron so basically they're just uh rusty rocks there is a such thing but we're gonna proceed on up through here and uh, I can see the slots beginning to take shape up here Murphy seems to be particularly fond of them oh wow that is really cool Uh -oh. All right, looks like we have a little boulder come down here and somebody's placed a pallet here for a makeshift ladder. Let's see if we can scramble up over this with one hand. All right. Oh wow, it just keeps getting cooler and cooler. Well, come on, if you're going. Well, shit. Got a man down. I know these walls are probably a good oh, 50 feet, maybe. boulders down recall a story of a guy getting caught in one of these canyons boulder falling on his arm and he had to use a pocket knife to cut his arm off I think I don't necessarily want to be that guy today I'm just go up here a little bit further and see what happens getting really narrow uh oh more boulders down it looks like A little bit paranoid, I'm traveling by myself. And there is no cell phone coverage back here, so I'm not gonna take many chances. In fact, I look up there and see it's getting even more narrow, more riprap to go over, so I think I'm gonna call it a day here. Murphy's whining back at the pallet. This is pretty cool. Short little hike to get a 
flavor of some slot canyons. I'll check back in just a second. All right, uh, made it back down over the pallet and heading back up the way we came. That was pretty cool. Just gonna head back down that wash and keep an eye out for uh, that cell phone tower. I should be able to see that before I see anything, but it wasn't a long hike, not many turns, no turns actually, so should be able to get out of here just fine. I come to the intersection of a trail and there's my tower, but the tank's not where I remember it. And I don't see my trail marker, so I, I don't think that's my trail. I set my timer, so I know I'm about 20 minutes away, so it's pretty close, but something just still doesn't seem quite right. I'm gonna go on down this wash a little bit further and see if I can find my trail marker and, and see that tank in a manner that I recall. All right, I came on down that wash just a little bit further and uh, I did find my trail marker and I see the cell phone tower and the tank the way I remembered them. So uh, even though today was a short hike, uh, I always take a little extra precaution and, and note some waypoints. I, I may have forgot to say earlier, I set a timer so I know about how long it would take me to get back to certain checkpoints. Uh, I got lost in a national forest in Kentucky once and uh, it was probably 25 years ago and it's a feeling I've not forgotten so I may be a, a little over cautious and uh, making sure it doesn't happen again. So uh, today worked out well. I uh, got to see a really cool slot canyon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the hike and uh, until next time, Murphy and I are out of here and stay curious. Mm -hmm.